Screws, one of the most important things in your building for structural integrity, but oftentimes not really talked about and not addressed during the construction process. So in this video, we looked at four companies and what makes the strongest screw and how they compared with each other. My name is Kurt Baylor, and I'm the VP of Marketing at FBI Buildings. So in this screw test video, we looked at four things. One is a visual comparison of what the screws are made of and how they look together. And then the second one is a pull test, which really measures if you were to take the screw and pull it out of the wood, what would those numbers be and how the screws perform there. The second thing is a shear test, which is once the screw is in the wood and into the steel and you were to pull the steel, it's really measuring how strong is the body of that screw if you were to pull it apart. And the third one is a screw strength test, which is really taking the screw and just pulling the screw apart and seeing how that screw breaks or the head pops off and what falters first and what the strength are for those screws. For these tests, we use two inch screws for all of the companies and the companies we're comparing today are Cleary, Morton, Menards, and FBI Buildings. In regards to the comparison, Cleary and Menards had the most similar screws as their washers were the similar width and thickness, and they're both disconnected from the heads and both are self-tapping screws. With Morton, it's a much more condensed head, a little more rounded, and it has a thicker washer while the washer and the head are not connected as well, and it does not have self-tapping. FBI screw is the only screw that has the head and the washer built together and it also has the thickest washer and is self-tapping. After the comparison, we went into our first test, which is the pull test, which this is really measuring the screw into the wood and then pulling that screw out. How does the threading for each one of these screws and the strength of the screw affect how much strength it takes to pull that screw out? So in last place was Cleary at 1,203 pounds to pull that screw out. In second place, basically a tie was Menards at 1,304 pounds and Morton at 1,390 pounds. Coming in at first place was FBI at a 1,508 pounds to pull that screw out of the wood. Test number two was the shear test. And what this test was really measuring is once the screw is in the metal and the wood, how much strength can it handle if that metal is being pulled and bending or popping the head off of that screw once it's in place. Coming in at fourth place was Morton at 1,527 pounds applied before it started to either bend or break. And this is mostly because Morton screws are a stainless steel screw, which makes it a softer screw, which won't hold as much weight when it's being pulled. After Morton comes Menards at 2,104 pounds, and then Cleary at 2,179 pounds, and then at the first place is FBI at 2,648 pounds. FBI also has a stainless steel head on that screw, but the rest of the screw is not. The last test is the screw strength test. And this is taking the head of the screw and the bottom of the screw and pulling them apart and seeing how much strength each screw can take before the head or the screw pulls apart. And in last place was Menards at 1,049 pounds. Cleary comes in at third at 1,087 pounds. And Morton at second at 1,273 pounds. And in first place was FBI at 1,705 pounds. Pounds. After all the tests were done, Menards came in last with one last place finish and two third place finishes with a composite score of five. After that was Cleary, which had one last place finish and a second place finish and a third place finish with a composite score of six. And as we talked about in the visual test, Menards and Cleary screws are very similar in their build, their structure, and their look as well. In second place was Morton, which had two second place finishes and one last place finish with a composite score of seven. In first place was FBI as it outperformed all the other screws on all three tests giving it a composite score of 12. Having a stainless steel head allows it not to rust, but not having a stainless steel body allows it to be a strong screw and not having it softer to be able to pull apart and performing well in all three of its tests. We hope this video is educational for you and helps you think through your building process. Remember how important screws are as it holds your steel and your wood together and is crucial to the structural integrity of your building. For more information, feel free to click below. You can check out our steel comparison video we've done and be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future and always Always remember to build with confidence.